Overall, I did not think I was going to like the Harmony at all. To me, at first, it felt like a really, really bad version of the Dread, but after a couple of testing uh, iterations in a forma, I kind of fell in love with using it. It's quite strong, it hits really hard, and I've seen a couple 10 millions, but it's not consistent enough for me to pull it off. So, how does the Harmony work? Well, with its uni unique trait, heavy attacks condense all the status effects that deal damage over time into a single instance. The heavy attacks uh, apply harmonic resonance, and that buff will increase your status duration by 30% for all allies, including yourself. And these will instantly receive the full damage from all their damage sticks, and they'll just instantly be removed from the enemy. So this is like conditional uh, overload, but like 500 times stronger because this is instant and not just what you're dealing over time. It overall is not bad in stats either, with it having an above average total damage at 240. It's primarily a puncture weapon with a little bit of slash, it's also a primary status weapon than it is a crit weapon, but you can obviously build it to do all of them. So, as you can see, I do indeed have uh, two builds for us today. I have a Corpus build and one that uses Melee Influence. So, we'll cover the Melee Influence build first and then the Corpus build. Alright, as I said, I do indeed have two builds. The Melee Influence build uses Conditional Overload on top of the uh, Harmonic Resonance Unique trait, just take full advantage of dealing even more damage. Weeping Wounds to apply more uh, status chance, melee elementalists to use the status damage on obviously all our dots. This gives us viral, this gives us electricity to block, proc melee influence. So make sure no matter what that you have a primer pet so that you take full advantage of the, uh, the Scythe's, well, unique trait. So we're going to stack them all together so they all get a status applied to them and obviously when you see that you saw I dealt a 1.0 million puncture proc. Obviously, that's what killed him, but if they didn't just, well, combust in one hit, you would have seen that a slash proc, a heat proc, or one of those would have been the thing that would have killed them. It is killing them quite well. There it is. 1.4 million with a shock proc, which is a damage over time effect. So as you see, it is very useful having a primer pet because you're just continuing the cycle, but obviously... Uh, enemies in the simulacrum are a tad too weak for the harmony because they just die, but... I might as well still show off the Corpus build before we move on to going to Still Path. Now, obviously, I had said I made a uh, Corpus build, so what does the Corpus build have? Basically the same thing as the Influence build, except now we're using Magnetic and Toxin and using Melee Vortex instead of using Melee Influence, but we're still using basically all the same stuff. So how does it perform? Well, I basically could say it performs the same as the other one. Basically, you, get, you try to get a kill, take advantage of your Priming Pet, and then just hit a attack like that and just clump them all together. That is the difference in using uh, influence with Vortex. With this case, we're able to suck them in and then just get an easier attack off across the entire board instead of having to basically uh, run around and attack them like that. Sucking them in and then hitting a heavy attack like that and as you saw the big numbers at the bottom left of my screen, it does a lot of damage, but obviously this is a controlled area, so I'll go ahead and get a build set up and go to Steel Path. I'll probably do Corpus this time around. And here we are already inside of Steel Path, and as you can tell, the build is already doing its job. It's pulling in enemies right as I started, and all I'm doing is whenever I see the opportunity to throw that uh, throw out that heavy attack thanks to Tenokai, I am doing it as soon as I see the option to. The weapon is very, very strong with or without the right build. Oh, crap. That's still annoying. Because as, as far as I've seen from the little bit I've messed with Harmony is that as long as there's a ton of statuses being applied around the board, you will not be having any issues trying to get kills. What I've noticed is if you don't have a Prime Pet, you're going to find you're going to have a couple of issues when it comes to trying to deal with uh, basically just trying to get kills off of it because basically Harmony is looking for a damage over time and if you don't have your damage over time, you're basically going to be, well, shit out of luck because you don't have the whole part of your build, which is uh, elemental status effects. But obviously these enemies are not that strong and I'll see y'all when the Acolyte spawns. All right, and the um, Acolyte is here. Who did we get? Ooh, oh crap, violence right as I get killed. We're gonna get up real quick. Oh, they disable your abilities. All right, so how does it work against them? Well, with the status effects that my Acolyte did apply to my Acolyte, that my pet did apply to them, as we saw, it did deal quite a lot of damage, but obviously we do still need more status effects applied to them, so there you go. 
There's a couple more. They got applied to them, so how does it fare? Oh, crap. How does it fare now? Did a lot more damage. Now, how does it fare again? Almost killed them. There you go. Does quite well, but obviously the issue with it is you do need your sass effects applied, and, well, that one kind of disables your ability, so I was kind of on the uh, shit end of the stick against that one, but obviously uh, I want to give my final thoughts outside of a mission, so I will see y'all back. I will see y'all whenever we go back to the uh, orbiter, so see y'all there, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this weapon. So what are my overall thoughts on the weapon outside of uh, now actually having a build that isn't letting me die? Well, when it comes to the Harmony, the Harmony is very, very, very reliant on whether or not you have a pet that can prime or some way that you can prime effectively. Because the whole point of this weapon is dealing every bit of status that you have dealt to an enemy in one massive hit. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I do actually have the Evansong and the Kentaure, so I can now do videos on those. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, midnight. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below what weapon you want to see next, and do hit that sub so, I, uh, so my channel can grow, because I love making content for all y'all uh, recruits. So, see y'all in the next one. Peace out.